there, I'm Representative Lori Jenkins. I represent the 27th Legislative District, most of the city of Tacoma, the entire city of Ruston, and a little bit of Fife. One of the traditions that I've started to do every year is when we start bill signings with the governor is to interview some of the folks who come down here to have their bills signed by the governor. And so today I'm going to run really quickly through a number of people, have them talk a little bit about their bill, just so that you can see the wide diversity of work that we do every legislative session. So we're off to my first uh, interviewee. Here we go. So can you tell me your name and where you're from and what bill you were here to watch the governor sign today? My name is Vari Rust Clark. I'm president of the Washington State Dental Hygienist Association. And we were here to have House Bill 1330 signed. House Bill 1330 allows dental assistants and dental hygienists to place topical anesthetic. And it also allows dental hygienists to access homebound patients so that patients who are unable to travel to their dental office due to age or disability can still access preventive dental hygiene services. Great, and I heard this bill because I sit on the House Health Care Committee, so I didn't know that's what you were here for, but that's great to hear it. Uh, one of the great bills we got passed this session. Thanks a lot, and congratulations on the work you did on this bill. Thank you, and the help of our lobbyist, Melissa Johnson. Melissa is a great lobbyist. So for those folks who think that all, all lobbyists are bad, here's a good one <laughs> who helped get a really great bill passed. Thanks, Melissa. My name is Todd McNeil, and we're, uh, I'm with uh, an organization called Hand in Hand. We work with uh, foster children who are removed in emergency situations of abuse and uh, drug raids, for example, incarceration of caregivers. And there was no place to take those children if they were under 13 years old. And so we introduced legislation creating a licensing category to create assessment facilities and resource facilities that the law enforcement social workers could bring the children to to be cared for. Great, thank you. And is this your first bill signing? Very first bill signing, yes. Very excited. And I see you've got a lot of young people here with you today, so make sure you all get a pen from the governor and enjoy enjoy having, this is a great bill. I voted for it off the floor, and thanks for the work that you did. My name is Dr. Eileen Ely. I'm president of Green River Community College. We are down here for the jobs bill, primarily because Green River Community College has one of the largest job training programs in the community college system in the state. So again, we're very pleased that this bill is supporting people, putting them back to work, training them for the jobs for tomorrow. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You know, I was um, on, a, on the Tacoma Community College Board for a dozen years, so I just love all the work that the community and technical college system does, and have a great time with the governor. Make sure he gives you a pen, okay. and um, enjoy the bill signing. Well, fancy meeting you here. This is my seatmate, Jake Fi, and he's getting his very first bill as a legislator signed today by the governor. So can you tell us a little bit about that bill, Jake? It's actually a bill for one of the local industries in Tacoma, located along Highway 509, and allows them to bring in heavier vehicles, which the road can handle, and makes their operation much more efficient. It's the Schnitzer Steel, and it uh, has a large operation in, in the city of Tacoma, and uh, it takes in metals from and processes them and sends them out through the Hylobus Waterway. Great. I worked on this bill last year for Schnitzer Steel and, and to make sure that we had our industry working as well as it could, and I wasn't able to get it through, so I'm glad you're here this year and you were able to get it done. Well, sometimes it takes two or three times, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll be excited to join you for this bill Great. signing. Good to see you. Thanks, Jake. So you just came out of having the governor sign a bill, so why don't you tell us who you are, who you represent, and tell us a little bit about the bills that the governor signed today. Okay, thank you. My name is Tom McBride, and I'm with the Washington Association of Prosecuting Attorneys. The bill we just signed was 1108. It removes an exception that you can't commit rape in the third degree if you're married. And it's just something we need to catch our Washington law up, and if you get a bill signed, you get one of these free pens, so it's a heck of a deal. And I bet over the time, you've been you've worked in the legislature for a long time, Tom. How many bills do you have? Or um, how many pens do you have? Ooh, boy, a lot of governor's pens. I don't buy them anymore. I just collect these and use them. So. Well, I'm glad you've got a lot of them. You do good work with the prosecutors. And uh, thanks for talking to us today. So I ran into somebody else that I know here today. Why don't you tell us who you are? <laughs> I'm T.K. Bentler. I'm with the uh, Appraiser, Appraiser Coalition Washington and also the Washington Brewers Guild. Great, and what are you here to see the governor sign today? I am here for, he actually just signed 1012. 1012 basically says that if you are an appraiser and you do work for an appraisal management company, that there's going to be a bond amount there so that they can collect in case they go bankrupt. 
Great. And did you say you were here for a second bill, too? second bill is for microbreweries. Right now, when you go to Anthony's Home Port and you buy a beer with their name on it, you don't know who actually produced that beer. So the bill will basically say who produced the microbrewery. Great. And did the governor talk to you at all about the golden elixir of the gods? That's how he's spoken about beer before. Did he Did he mention that in, in his signing of this bill? Well, that hasn't come up yet. So we'll be in there and we'll maybe uh, say a word or two to the governor about that. So Great. Thanks a lot, TK. You Thank you. Well, this was just a sampling today. This was maybe five or six bills of over 20 that the governor signed today. But it gives you a sense of the wide diversity of things that we work on here in the legislature and the fact that all of these bills affect everyone in the entire state. So I hope this gives you a good sense of what it is we do down here. And I'm also hoping that someday I can see you down here getting a bill that's important to you signed. Thanks a lot and have a great day.